Hi, friends. Together we're moon gazing angels and we're here to save the world. <laughs> <laughs> Very literally. <laughs> Everyone looks good. Perfect. Awesome. <sighs> so we wanted to introduce ourselves, share a little bit about this mission, and really just we're here for everyone. We're here to bring peace on earth to the planet, to bring heaven on earth. It's time. It is time. And tonight's a very special night. We've got a full moon. It's a blue moon, harvest moon, and it's also Halloween. And this has been a divinely guided mission, literally from God and the angels and Jesus and everyone who is part of Christ consciousness to bring this information to the planet right now. We're, we're here to help with the shift of awakening, ascension, and everything. <laughs> Tess, tell them a little bit about your healing journey. All right, so um, Moon Gazer Healing came about um, after a long 10 years of struggles, and holistic health um, has saved me, has definitely saved my life, my physical body, and my soul. Um, so here with Moon Gazer Healing, um, what, what we want to do is be able to provide with everyone else what we have been provided with, which is the, the grace and the love and the opportunity to heal ourselves through our spiritual healing. Um, holistic healing and spiritual healing go hand in hand. Um, some people are not aware of that. So we are here to help guide spiritually as well as the physical body healing. Yeah, so important. So it's, we've each had our own challenges. Both she and I are brain damaged, I guess you could say. We've had, I had a traumatic brain injury and, and Tess has had strokes and it's been, you know, a long recovery for, for both of us, but we're so grateful that things like essential oils and, and hemp and energy work uh, has come into our life so that we can share what's really helped us get our lives back and vibrant and just feeling alive with, with a mission and a purpose much bigger than ourselves uh, to really bring this level of healing to the world. And I feel like right now, with everything that's going on in the world today, people are really looking for options to take back their health and their wealth and everything. We, we deserve to be vibrant, alive, and supported by the universe, by God, uh, and reminded that we are infinite beings in an infinite universe. We literally can have anything we desire. You know, if you're struggling out there, what is the, the greatest level of health that you can imagine for yourself? What does that look like? How would it feel to take back your life and to really, truly step into embracing your truest, best self? 
standing in your own power. And uh, for myself, I am a registered nurse who has, has chosen to leave the, f the field of Western medicine so that I can completely devote myself to holistic medicine in which it is not, it is all encompassing. It's not just the body, it's not just the injury or the illness. It is mind, body, soul, and spirit. If you get down to the root cause, the root cause of a lot of our physical ailments have nothing to do with our physical bodies. And that's what we are here to do, is to help you surface and realize what's going on on a spiritual level, on an emotional level, which is affecting your physical body. Um, ten years ago, I had to learn how to walk and talk in ABCs and one, two, threes all over again. I thought my career and my life was over, and I wasn't sure that I was going to be able to continue my life because the pain was so severe. Thank you to Holistic Health and, um, and our Creator and angels and everyone who has helped to get me to here. Um, and now the, the mission is clear. And Tara and I are on this mission. We are a part of it. There are at least 144,000 of us that are out on this mission, um, on this earth at this time. Um, and if you are one of them and you um, have anything to add, please let us know. We are here. We are here to help anyone and everyone, whether you are a light worker or not. We are all in this together. And the biggest thing that we, that we need to remember is that we are all one. Whether we like that or not, we are. We're all in this together. We're all infinite beings. The power of manifestation. You can manifest the, your dream life, your healing, but you have to believe and you have to want to help yourself. We have realized that no matter how much we want to help everyone and save the world, we cannot help anyone who is not willing to help themselves. Um, and that has been a very tough lesson for us both. Yes, it has. Um, because we are just the type of people that we just want to help everyone and save everyone. Um, so if you're ready, if you're ready to heal, if you're ready to work through whatever has been going on in this life, in the past life, then we are here to help and we just are so excited to do this. This is our soul's mission for existence, our soul's purpose for existence. existence. So this is what we're here to do. So any way that we can help, we are here to do this. Uh, we are both uh, Reiki practitioners. We are going to be introducing a frequency device that has already blown our minds. Um, it's only been here in the U.S. for a few months. We both um, are fortunate enough to have the practitioner level of it. Um, so we will be introducing that. We will be talking about crystal healing, essential oils, sound healing, as well as what is ascension? What is consciousness? Who are the archangels? Who are the angels? Through this process, through my awakening, I have been so graciously given the opportunity and the ability to communicate with the angels. So they communicate with me whether I'm ready for it or not. Mm -hmm. um, no matter what I'm doing, <laughs> they're tapping in and they're, they're downloading me. Um, so if you would like to speak to angels, I'm simply a vessel. So I am happy to use my vessel to communicate. Um, that's what's got us to this point and has, has really helped guide us through, through our mission and will continue to. Um, this is a divine purpose, a divine mission that we are on together. Uh, we will also be talking about twin flames. If you're not aware of that, we're going to let you know, because let me tell you, it's, it's, it's a, it's a real thing. It's a real thing. And it's really crazy, but it's really awesome as well. And Tara is my twin flame and, um, how we met is just, just uh, mind blowing. Um, divinely guided. Divinely Absolutely. guided. To have two individuals on the face of this earth that have the exact same goal and mission, it's, it's beautiful. It's amazing. We are um, only love and light. We ask that everyone who joins our pages and, um, and would like to assist us, we are all one. We treat everyone with love and respect, always, always. So we ask that you do the same, and that's about all we ask for, love and respect. Make it to you, make it if you don't have it yet. We'll help you. That's, That's what we're here for. True. <laughs> yes, and being the healing musician, it's very important for me that people understand the power of sound and vibration and really what is music and how it's saved my life has just been, I mean, let's say I'm grateful to be here and I've gone through the dark night of the soul and we both have had to work through that. And right now what's going on in the world, a lot of people are being thrust into uh, this dark night of the soul and if you're not familiar with what that is 
Uh, it's basically, it is the feeling of loneliness, despair, sadness, grief, anger, all of the lot lower vibrational feelings that we get and we kind of circle through and, and kind of cycle throughout. It's like we do the crazy eights, we're either depressed or anxious or and we just kind of go back and forth between there. And if you know that feeling um, and you're thrust into, okay, I don't know how I'm gonna create financial abundance for myself. You may have lost your job or had been greatly reduced or who knows what have happened with this you know, virus and everything affecting the world the way in which it is. Uh, there's a lot of dark energy and, and lower vibrational sadness and things. So working through those emotions, right? Recognizing that we're all human. We're, we're all gonna have rough days and, and, and good days and we go with the ebb and flow. It's a roller coaster of, of life. And knowing how to negotiate the turns and the twists and, and re reminding yourself to stay hopeful that this is all a process and trusting the journey and, and trusting the angels, trusting in God, trusting in yourself, that you know what's really truly right for you. And I, I hope that this time uh, has made you go a little bit within, since we can't go without, you know, into the outer world and, and do the things that we were doing before all of the coronavirus hit, but we can look back inside of ourselves and ask ourselves, how can I heal myself? How can I prepare my vessel for, for battle? Basically, I mean, literally, we are waging a spiritual battle on this planet right now, and people can feel that. We can feel the energy and the disconnect, and with the election happening here in the United States, there is a lot of tension, and a lot of, of those lower vibrational energies are, are, are creeping their way up, and they're right in your face, and mainstream media, um, the news, the TV, like all of these just incite, incite this fear inside of us, and really, folks, it's that fear that paralyzes us. It's the fear that wrecks havoc on our immune system so that we become susceptible to viruses and bacteria. But there are ways that you can literally change your vibration and raise your vibration to the frequencies of love and peace and kindness and hope and literally create a, an inhospitable host for yourself. You change your vibrational state and become more aligned with your dreams, purpose, and mission on this planet, and things just fall away, and you're not so affected by all of the negativity in the world, and you can really dream bigger, and that's what we're here to do, is to help people remember and that they had these big mm -hmm. dreams, that they, you know, dust them off and get them out of the closets and literally come out and be your most vibrant self, be supported by the universe, by God, and by your angels to really do the things in life that fill you up and that's that's what we're here this is what this channel is all about is sharing the gifts and tools that have helped us to get to the point where we are and we're so grateful to have these perfect amazing bodies right now and, and be alive in this beautiful time of ascension um, the shift is happening and we are just here to guide people through that shift of of awakening and, and there's a massive awakening that's happening tonight as a very special night because the veil is very thin. So you may have heard of this veil uh, that exists between the three dimensional world of which we all reli live right now, the, the tangible, what you touch, feel, and this body, right? We feel that we're this body, but we're actually energetic beings. We're more energy than we are anything else. And that energy, if we work on our own energy, will ripple out and affect others around us to then encompass the entire world. And how amazing will it be when we can help share the secrets that and learn from you as well because you have gifts and, and things that you've learned and we wanna hear about those too. We've started a group, um, it's called Moon Gazing Angels. And this is a group that is here for ascended beings, people who are looking for enlightenment, who are on the path of kindness, love, to really come together, share our gifts and resources. We're gonna be starting a podcast as well, and a channel that will be featuring other people and holistic practitioners. We'll be featuring products and services that really um, all just create this safe haven for inspired wellness on the planet. So we, we hope that you find value in this. We'd love to offer you a, a little gift, and that is we are growing our channel. We appreciate you, your likes, subscribes. If you find this on YouTube or Facebook or wherever this is posted, um, please share with your communities. Let people know that we're out there for them. And we would love to offer um, our first 10 people who actually reach out to us in a private message. 
we would like to extend a free chakra analysis, aura analysis, where we can actually help guide you through affirmations on how to strengthen chakras and give you a real-time report of how your energy centers are, are flowing or may be blocked. We help you release those blocks so that you can do your own level of vibrant healing and we're just so grateful. So yeah, this is, this is us, the Tess and Tara show. <laughs> <laughs> we're so excited. Um, Moongazer Healing is, um, it. we are going to save the world and that includes you. So if you are ready to heal, please, please, please let us know. We are here for you. We will be updating daily, adding different things as we build this business and we build this um, this platform for healing. Um, we are just here to help and we just want to share our love to you and to everyone. And um, if you're struggling, it doesn't have to be this way. And we are here for you. We have, we have been through our struggles. We, I mean, everyone struggles every day. We have struggles. But it's flipping it around and being grateful for what we have. We have a roof, we have food in our bellies, we have nourishment, we have amazing people that love us. So being grateful for everything that you have, Attitude. even when you feel you don't have oh, yeah. anything that you want, mm -hmm. you have what you need. Because most of the time we have exactly what we need. So stay in that, in that gratitude, even if it's just for the clothes on your back, stay in that moment of gratitude and the rest will flow. We have to raise our vibrations. Everything comes to us based on our vibrations. So if you stay low vibe, mm -hmm. you're going to attract more low vibe. And it sounds, it sounds, oh, all about the vibes, but it really mm -hmm. is. We're all energy. That's all we are. So um, thank you so much for, for checking us out today, and we look forward to seeing you more. Um, anything else, Tara? I think we're complete there. Would all you right. like to draw... We're going to create a little message. We're going to channel in and ask all the Ascended Masters, beings of light, the Christ Consciousness, Archangels, Michael, Raphael, Gabriel, Uriel, Sandalfin, Metatron, please guide us. What angel spirit get messages and guidance do we have for our beautiful followers today? So today, the universe, the message for the day is, I find a deeper meaning and personal growth amidst the discomfort. This is not a very comfortable process, I promise you that, but it is worth it, and you're not alone, so don't ever think you are. We are here for you. There are so many more of us that are here for you, um, so please, please, please reach out, and we look forward to seeing you and talking with you and working with you. Thank you so much, everyone. Namaste, friends. Have a beautiful day.